how to prepare mobile phase for your GPC SEC instrument. GPC SEC is a type of liquid chromatography, which means it relies on a liquid mobile phase to carry the sample through the columns and detectors. A variety of solutions can serve as this mobile phase, from organic solvents to aqueous buffers, and sometimes with additives such as salts and co-solvents. One requirement of all mobile phases is that they be clean and free of particulates. There are two ways to ensure this. Use HPLC grade solvent straight from the bottle or filter your prepared solution prior to placement on the instrument. Another thing that helps, particularly for aqueous mobile phases, is to add a small amount of preservative such as sodium azide to prevent bacteria growth. This video will demonstrate how to prepare and vacuum filter a mobile phase. As an example, I will prepare a solution of 0.05 molar sodium sulfate, an aqueous mobile phase containing salt, but the procedure presented here is also applicable for organic-based mobile phases. The lab items necessary for mobile phase preparation consist of a vacuum filtration setup, including a vacuum filter flask, often with a capacity of 2 liters or greater, a glass filter cup and base with a frit and stopper to fit in the neck of the flask, a clamp to hold the filter cup assembly in place, a filter membrane with pore size of 0.2 microns, a vacuum source, a stir plate, and a large stir bar. The filter membranes should be nylon for aqueous and most organic mobile phases and PTFE for HFIP, formic acid, and other solvents that will dissolve nylon. Alternately, a disposable all-in-one plastic filtration setup will work for aqueous mobile phases and buffers. Other lab items that might be helpful are a balance to weigh out any added salts, a large graduated cylinder to measure a known amount of solvent or additive, and a large flask for preparing the unfiltered solution. The first step is to create the mobile phase solution. I've pre-weighed the appropriate amount of sodium sulfate to generate 2 liters of a 0.05 molar solution. I'll add that to my mixing flask, add 2 liters of distilled or deionized water, and then let the solution stir gently to completely dissolve. Since this is an aqueous mobile phase, I will also add a spatula tip of sodium azide to act as a preservative. While the salt is dissolving, I'll move to the second step partially assembling the vacuum filtration apparatus. It is recommended to use a stir bar in the filter flask to agitate the filtrate while under vacuum, effectively degassing the mobile phase during the preparation process. As an aside, if you're using an HPLC grade solvent that contains a lot of dissolved gas, such as dichloromethane or chloroform, you can thoroughly degas the solvent by placing the bottle under vacuum while being stirred. This process must be monitored closely and should not be extended for more than a few minutes at most to minimize solvent evaporation. Third, filter the mobile phase. Turn on the vacuum pump first to ensure that the filter membrane seals to the frit. Then place the cup on top and secure it with the clamp. Now you're ready to add the mobile phase solution to the filter cup. Continue to add solution to the filter cup until the entire batch has been filtered. Make sure the stir bar is moving and agitating the filtrate as it accumulates in the flask. Once filtration is complete, disconnect the vacuum hose from the filtration flask and then immediately shut off the vacuum. This prevents anything that may have been sucked into the vacuum hose from contaminating your fresh mobile phase. Congratulations, your freshly filtered mobile phase is now ready to be used on your GPC SEC system. Mm -hmm.